Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Desert Succulents Q&A. The first question is, Ask lang po ako, yung dahon ng rose cabbage ko may mga hati-hati. Ano po dapat kong gawin? I cannot see your actual rose cabbage kung anong itsura niya, but I would assume that it would look like this. So, one of the most common reasons why yung ating mga succulent leaves are cracking or nagahati-hati sila is because of overwatering. If we overwater our succulents, what happened is that it would now let the water accumulate doon sa leaves ng ating mga succulents. And if this water accumulates sa mga leaves, it would lead to an increased pressure which now would turn into the splitting or yung pag-crack or pag-hati-hati ng ating mga succulent leaves. I would advise that you would try to avoid overwatering our succulents. In addition, our succulent leaves will split if yung inyong succulents are sitting in a potting mix with poor drainage. Mahirap po ba maging CNS seller at anong gagawin kapag dumating ang mga ititinda mong CNS galing Baguio? If you will just be talking about yung pagbebenta ng mga succulents, then it's gonna be very easy. Madali lang magbenta, especially nowadays that everything is done online. But the most difficult part of it or the most tiring part of it is yung pag-prepare ng ating mga succulents. And it's not just about preparing. I do myself grow yung ating mga succulents. Sometimes through the leaves or sometimes through propagations like this and it takes time and you really need to have a lot of patience to grow these succulents because we are doing a business and if you will not be propagating these succulents then wala tayong mabebenta so that part is the most difficult on the other hand being a CNS seller is also fulfilling as much as possible i would like to meet the expectations of our clients every time i was able to meet the expectation of my customers then that's enough to make me happy as well hello po tanong ko po sana kung after repotting ng propagated leaves need na agad diligan and how po magdilig ng mga propagated leaves there are two ways on how I water my leaf propagated succulents. Una nga yung ating misting using this one and yung isa is watering them using this one. Pag ganito pa kaliliit yung inyong mga succulents and once nagkaroon na tayo ng mga roots sa kanila, then that's the time we will be doing our misting using this ating pang spray. Pag wala pa silang roots, even if may offsets na sila, you should never miss them yet kasi they still have their mother leaf which is now their main source of water. But if for example, lumaki na yung mga leaf propagated succulents ninyo and you already transfer them sa kanilang individualized pots or in this case, this is an arrangement and it was my choice to put them here. Pag ganito na sila kalaki, misting won't really that work since may mga soil na sila and their roots are already buried under the soil. So all we need to do is we need to water them dito. But we have to make sure not to overwater them since yung kanilang root system is still very shallow. We will be watering them just enough na ma-reach yung kanilang pinaka root sa baba. So for example, ganyan lang. How many years ka na nagko-collect ng succulent? For this question, I started collecting succulents for almost 4 years now. But this 2020 lang talaga yung pinaka-peak nung ating pagko-collect. Especially that magkaroon nga tayo ng pandemic and we have nothing to do at home. Anong CNS po yung need at hindi need na i after mabili sa garden shops? As I kept on mentioning, every time you buy your succulents from the garden shop, the very first thing that you need to do is to change nga yung soil ng inyong mga succulents and in order for you to do this, you have to uproot yung inyong mga succulent. There is no specific nga na succulent na dapat nating i-uproot or not uproot. It's basically your own personal choice whether you're gonna do it or not. You don't need to uproot yung inyong mga succulents if you think na healthy naman sila and your succulent is in good condition in their original pot and soil like for example this is our mensa if you've been following our vlogs you would notice na most of my succulents are until now nakalagay pa rin sila dito sa kanilang nursery na pots we also have this kind of succulent judging by the size of it more or less nasa two years na siyang nandito sa kanyang pot but still i am not thinking of repotting this anytime soon 
Magkakaroon pa po ba ng bagong at updated na choices for DIY sets next year? Sana din po may pa LBCCOP ang mahal kasi ng ABS SF. Thank you. For this one, for our DIY sets, we have DIY sets from time to time. Although I don't really post much sa ating Facebook page these days, you would notice that since I am really focused nga dito sa ating YouTube channel. Although yung mga nag-order sa atin, they do send a message to me privately. And when they send a message to me privately, that's the time I do reply to them kung ano yung available na mga succulents natin. But hindi na ganun kadami yung ating mga supplies, especially that I have shifted into uncommon and imported succulents these days. Yung mga common succulents natin before naubos na silang lahat during those months of March until August. Yun yung peak season talaga. With regards sa ating LBC COP, I understand na mas cheaper talaga siya and our customers can save from the shipment fee. But the problem nowadays with LBC is that sobrang haba ng pila lagi. I need to have at least 2 to 3 hours or sometimes 4 hours just to be accommodated nga. Unlike for ABES na they are doing the door-to-door -door na service and that is the most convenient for me. And also yung delivery nga ng ating ABES is faster as compared sa LBC. I don't know exactly now if faster na nga ba yung LBC. Sa ABES, you have to prepare at least 300 pesos for the shipment fee. That's gonna be door-to-door -door na. And it's originally like 190 or 200 pesos. But since we are shipping perishable items or yung mga nabubulok na items, they require an additional 100 pesos. Kaya nagiging around 300 pesos yung binabayaran ninyo. Ask lang po, ano po ba problem sa rose cabbage? Yung mga dahon parang may hati. Thank you. So I think this one is similar doon sa ating unang question kanina. And it has something to do with overwatering. Kailan po the best na ibihead ang succulent? Tapat po ba mature na mature na mga stems? Pag bagong dilig po ba pwede na ibihead? Kailan po dapat diligan ang nabihead na succulent? And gaano po katagal para pwede na ulit sila ibihead or beheaded? In front of us are our chenille plant na we featured before. It has a lot of offsets na. Ayan. So if we will be talking about beheading, you can behead them anytime. So for example, this one is already mature enough. We can actually behead this one. We also have this one sa baba. Maliit pa lang siya but in fact, we can already behead the succulent. Even na uh, ganito pa lang siya kaliit, we can already propagate them and we can behead them. Ganyan sila. After beheading, we should not be watering our mother plant and even our stem cuttings for at least one week. We need to air dry them first at a bright shaded area. If you're asking about the frequency kung kailan ba tayo pwedeng ulit magbehead, after nga beheading is there's no specific time but if you're gonna be beheading your succulents, just do it at once. Diba? Hindi yung for example, nagbehead ka ngayon, then tomorrow magbibehead ka ulit, then the next day you will do it. So, so minsan na, na if you decided to behead all of these cuttings, then just behead it at once. Dapat po ba naglalagay ng dithane as maintenance or prevention ng fungus? And another question, ask ko lang po kung kailangan talaga i-fungicide ang mga succulents pagkabili sa mga flower shop or kailan ito dapat gawin. Wala ako idea kung paano at kailan dapat gawin ito sa succulents. Sana ay mabigyan kami ng information upang hindi naman kami mamatayan ng halaman. Yung application natin ng mga fungicides are very useful and very important sa ating mga succulents. Our succulents kasi can develop fungal infections if we try to move them out of their natural habitat. So for example, originally it was grown in Baguio City, then it was shipped to, for example, the lowland areas. And since there is a change nga on their habitat or yung kanilang environment, then they are prone to fungal infections. As you know, our succulents prefer nga yung ating dry na climate. And sometimes, especially sa lowland areas, it's very humid. This too much moisture now is something that our succulents need to learn how to handle. And if they were not able to handle or adapt sa kanilang new environment, they are prone to fungal infections. There are two kinds of fungicides. We have yung contact fungicides and systemic fungicides. Yung ating mga dithane are considered as contact fungicides. So, ibig sabihin, they are on the preventive 
side na mga fungicides. They just help to protect yung ating mga leaves and other parts of our succulents against possible na fungal infection. You always have to remember to read the label or instruction kung paano gamitin yung diethane na meron kayo. So that depends on the brand or a specific product that you are using. For example, right now, it says here, diethane offers longer lasting protection and better disease control than other fungicides in its class. That's why after nating bilhin ito from our garden shop, we need to soak our succulents for at least 30 minutes to an hour sa ating diethane solution. Then you have to air dry them for a couple of days. In any case na ayaw nyo siyang i-uproot and you just want to spray it, pwede rin naman, you can just simply spray it sa inyong mga succulents. But that would always depend sa brand na ginagamit ninyo. For example, here sabi niya, application, we need to add 15 grams or 1 pack of diethane to 5 liters of water. Spray directly on the soil to avoid watermarks. Packaged for single use. The application of our fungicides would really depend. Usually for contact fungicides, they would last for about 7 to 14 days. Then you really need to reapply once again after that. Unlike for our systemic that could last for a longer period of time. I will be discussing more about diethane and our fungicides in a separate vlog. That's all for today's Q&A. If you have more questions, you can just simply comment it down below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.